Hello everyone, this is Megan from KenHub, and welcome to our tutorial on blood vessels of the nasal cavity. During this tutorial, we'll have a look at the arterial supply and venous drainage of the nasal cavity. At the end of the tutorial, we'll go over a few clinical pathologies related to the blood vessels of the nasal cavity. So here we can see an illustration of the skull that's been bisected along the mid-sagittal plane to expose the vasculature and nerve supply of the nasal cavity. Here we can see the lateral wall of the right nasal cavity, and here we can see the medial wall which has been reflected upwards. Now this image does look overwhelming, but don't panic because as we progress through the tutorial, we're going to break it down into individual structures. As with other anatomical illustrations, the red vessels represent arteries, the blue vessels represent veins, and the yellow fibres represent nerves. So let's begin with the arterial supply. The nasal cavity has a very rich blood supply, derived from both the internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery, which is highlighted in this image in green. As you may know, the external carotid artery has many branches. Part of the blood supply to the nasal cavity is derived from two of these branches, the facial artery and the maxillary artery. Let's first take a look at the facial artery and its main branches to the nasal cavity. As you can see, the facial artery branches anteriorly off the external carotid artery, then curves upwards over the mandible and over the angle of the mouth to run alongside the nose. As it passes the nose, it gives off a branch which supplies the nasal cavity. This branch is referred to as the lateral nasal branch of the facial artery, and we can see it highlighted in green here. This branch supplies the skin of the nose. Now let's look at the other branch of the external carotid artery that supplies the nasal cavity, which is the maxillary artery. The maxillary artery is one of the two terminal branches of the external carotid artery. As you can see, it passes underneath the mandible before it courses up the face, giving off many branches. In this next illustration, we can see another view of the maxillary artery, as well as the other terminal branch, the superficial temporal artery. We will now have a look at some of the branches of the maxillary artery which supply the nasal cavity. The first branch of the maxillary artery we will look at is the sphenopalatine artery. The sphenopalatine artery passes through the sphenopalatine foramen, which is a hole within the skull, which you can see located at the posterior aspect of the superior meatus. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.